this is Carol uh, doing Nick the Booksmith's Deserted Island Challenge. Uh, first up is our uh, Givens, which was I used Fabri-Tac for my glue. Piece of paper, tea stained, many pieces of paper, scissors, and needle and black floss for my uh, thread. And then my chosens were black pen with two tips. The um, fired brick distress ink and my stamper. Tim Holtz paper two-sided and a book cover. This is from an uh, old Edgar Allan Poe book that was falling apart. So first up, I added a piece of paper to the spine to give it more um, integrity because it was pretty loose. And I have two signatures and again use the Tim Holtz paper to sew the signatures in and then glued it into the book so that there was no uh, thread on the spine. And I used the Distress Ink quite a bit throughout the video in various ways. Main, I took 8.5 by 11 paper, tea dyed and then I cut it to the size, correct size for this book. And then after that, with the leftover paper, I used, created additional pages to create an interesting sizes. So then the tucks and tabs were cut from that same paper uh, lengthwise. This is what was left of the 11 inches. So, I decided to do a circus theme, and this is the Blackbird and the Flying Circus coming to town. Got a little leaf with an ABC tuck. The Amazing Ants. Here's a Happy Day on the Island drawing with a little red sunset. This is the only sewing I did outside of sewing the spine. Um, and the little bird landing on the uh, catwalk. Here's the uh, cage train circus thing. The elephant. Got bird cages throughout. That was part of the Tim Holtz paper. The seal with the bouncing ball. The announcement of popcorn, lemonade, cotton candy, elephant ears. Then there's the botanical parts of the page. And here was a little uh, number sheet. I thought that would be neat for a uh, some kind of game, win a prize. The riding horse, prancing pony, the big tent, and a bear. There's a uni little unicycle tucked over there. And yes, that is a bear. The birds. Bird cages. The sails, tag. I liked using the stamp this way. It created some neat uh, Japanese style marks. Next up, Toledo train schedule. And some fun designs with the markers. The marker, the black marker. The zebra. I think the camel came out the best. Got the flying ants, the monkey, the 
the short necked giraffe. See the famous BT Darnum as the ringmaster. And the ball got away from the seal. A little more of the stamping with the ink pad. A little tuck. A little tag. And that is the end. Thank you, Nick, for uh, creating this challenge. It's been lots of fun.